Happy Tuesday, everyone. You're watching the Beaver Bunch. That's Lori. I'm Mary Beth. And that's Mary Beth. She's my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> we had the gayest weekend ever. Really gay. Tell really them. Gay. Tell them all the things that we did. Went to IKEA. Built some. Built some furniture. Um, lots of gayness. Lots of gayness going on. What else? Glee. Oh, we went and saw Glee in New York. We waited at the stage door because Lori wanted to. So that was really gay. That was really gay. We're kicking off the Pride season by making a month-long tribute to Pride. It is a Pride extravaganza. I will be here for Pride. You will. Back in a couple of weeks. New York. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Where it's at. We had fun last year. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. New York Pride, I think, has so much variety. I think that Pride celebrates the differences in everyone. Definitely. That's why I really like it, because it's like, you know, you see gay pride floats and parades, and it's just pretty much every color of the rainbow. You know, you, you literally, I know, that was gay. It just celebrates that, and I think, like, for a lot of people, being gay is really unique, but... For gay people, being unique is unique, because that's what it should be. It mm -hmm. shouldn't be about being gay as being something like... Yeah, being gay shouldn't be the most interesting thing about you, I feel. Yeah, I mean, it unites us. I like that. Because sure. yeah, when you meet gay people, you can be friends immediately, because you all have, like, a coming out story. Your and, family. And your family, exactly. <laughs> the thing I loved most about Pride last year was this 80-year-old woman who had a hat on with little buttons all over it and a fanny pack, and she had a t-shirt on, and on the back it said, I love being exactly who I am. And I thought, that's that's awesome. That's I want to be that when I'm 80. I want to be that when I'm 30. I want to be that any age. I mean, I think that's just the coolest thing. And whether you're gay, straight, you know, anything, just love it. Love it. Rock it. Rock it. I think that that should be how it is. Like, you should celebrate what it is to be you, and if, you know, how you can relate to people as being gay, then yeah. then have fun with it. And gays come out of the woodwork. They sure do. There are a lot of gays that um, are people that you might not guess are gay or transgender or anything else that you see at these events that, yeah. you know, even, even surprise you, so... You come out there and it's like, oh, you don't have to look like, because I just feel like there's so many different, there's so many different ways to do gay and they really are all represented, I think. I think the most important thing is to have jazz hands. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I hope there's some kind of glee tribute in the, in the Pride Parade. There oh, there be. has to be. There has to be. So I'm looking forward to telling you guys more about Pride and about how I think of Pride and coming from from a Midwest perspective and well, and you've been to Prides in New York and been to Prides San in... Diego last year with the whole bunch. Yeah, it's San Diego. And I think you can probably see how it varies across the country too. Oh yeah, yeah. Like every house on the street, like that Jess was living on, was like gay. It was all gay. It was like a gay neighborhood. There was gay coffee shops. It's called the Gayborhood. Yeah. Yeah. And it was love a beautiful it. day in the gayborhood. <laughs> I wanted to be someone's gayber. I love in New York how when it's Pride, all the surrounding neighborhoods where the parade goes, um, all the restaurants have rainbow flags out and just like are totally op open and welcoming. Like Ralph Lauren, I think last year had all mannequins that seven mannequins or six in rainbow colored polos and little things like That's that. So it cool. just um, it was like a subtle way to say, you know. Thanks for shopping. <laughs> yeah, buy our merchandise. That little old lady was the cutest thing ever. And it just like she was understated otherwise. She wasn't screaming or shouting or just well, she was eighty. Well she hey, you never know. <laughs> That's true. She just had her little white t shirt on. Her t shirt didn't even have rainbows on it. Mm -mm. It was kinda subtle, but nice. Yeah. yeah. It was nice. It'll be our second pride together. <laughs> I'm excited for that. Because I am gay. I, I'm i excited, but I need new aviators. Yeah. Oh, and the pink hat's going to make a comeback. <laughs> I know Mary Beth is really excited. You're not I fist pumped. You're I fist pumped. Oh, I'm... Yeah. Jazzed. The pink hat's going to make a comeback.
think hat's fun. It I'll is. wear it next week. It's a conversation starter. Definitely. Definitely it's prideful. Definitely. It's proud. Prideful, is that a word? I don't know. It sounded good for me. I'm not an English major. Pridealicious. Pridetastic. Pridetastic. <laughs> Priderific. I don't know. I don't know either. All right, well, <laughs> that is the video, I guess. Um, I hope that you have a good rest of your week. I, hate, I, never, I never know what to say here. Pow! No, I'm kidding. Don't say that. No, no. Thanks for watching. Don't you always say, have a good week. See you next Tuesday. I haven't done the cheesy wink in a while. I, I used to do it, it like kind of like that. or Yeah, that was like you're like, I'm cool. That was like a peace out Girl Scout type of thing. Show me your shirt. Sorry, I love They've seen this shirt before. Never. It's my guns shirt. Not because of the guns on it, but because it shows off my guns. <laughs> All right, with that being said, see you next Tuesday. Wink. You'll see Mary Beth soon, I hope. See you soon. Yeah. Okay.